address location versus impact location. Impact location, my left knee, my lead knee is straighter than where it was at address. It may not be straight, but it's straighter. Mm -hmm. The weight's more towards the outside edge, more kind of right underneath my ankle. My left shoulder is more around behind my ear and it's higher in the air. My left rib cage is further from my left hip than it was at address. My right rib cage is closer to my hip than it was at address. My right arm is in front of, of my rib cage and may very well be in alignment with the ball, not behind the ball, okay? The grip is leaning forward mm -hmm. of the ball. My right foot is pushed in, my right knee is pushed down. Perfect. My ankle is rolled in, this is called eversion, it's rolled mm -hmm. in, my heel's off the ground. My head is behind the ball, even mm -hmm. though my shoulders are open. Shoulders are open. They'd be square to dress, so now they're open. So those are some of the differences in address and impact. These are the alignments I want to get intimately familiar with, not these. Mm -hmm. I got to be able to adjust these depending on the shot that I have. I got to be able to move my feet into different places and put the ball farther away. With a driver, I want it further away, not closer, because I want to stretch my arms out to hit it further. But I don't want to do that with my irons because I'll shake it. So the dress has to be fixable depending on the shot you have. I really doubt that you want to address a putt like that. <laughs> they have to be different. They have to be, you know, and so, you know, we talk about it uh, occasionally is that consistency is really not a good goal because what if golf gives you a situation where your consistent pattern won't work? What you want is stability with adaptability. I want to be stable enough so that I can adapt to whatever golf throws at me and then have some success. So then can you do a driver? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Because the ball's sitting off the ground, all the rules change. So the ball's gonna be farther forward because I'd really like to catch this on the upswing. You can see, that will be my impact location with the driver. His heel's a little bit higher up in the air. So Hips are a little more open. Like it's open. Is it from here, is it? Mm -hmm. Hips are a little bit more open, but basically the same thing. Chest is open, hips are open, left shoulder's higher than the right. Right rib cage is closer to my right hip. My right knee is lower than my left. Ankles rolled in, stance is wider because it's a driver. And so seven iron would be right there. And now driver is right there. And look how far his hands are away from his body as well. You can see there's a, a lot more difference between his hands and his legs with the driver as compared to a seven iron, which your hands are a little bit closer. Okay. Kind of in line with what the was working Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Yep. Questions? Got questions? Make sense? So how do you know if you're when your arms are at the right distance. From the ball? Yeah. Get the spray and see where it is on the face and if you need to move closer, you need to move farther away based on your results. Okay. Base it all on your results. You know, and that's why opinions are great, but I'd rather have evidence. Okay. Opinions are nice, but that, that that's not necessarily reality. You know, and uh, like the great Fuzzy Zeller, if I've got to address my driver right there to be able to hit it right there, that's what I'm gonna do. Fuzzy Zeller used to have it out like this, and then he kind of stood up in his swing, so it worked out just fine. <laughs> you know, had a it long, is amazing in wonderful golf career. This from here to here is all that counts, really. You're right. It, it's you got it. It's it doesn't less. matter. Mary's got it. Yes. Yeah, it's like, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, standing O. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's all that matters. Everything else is just a support system for this. And so, you know, if I like to bend over a lot and have my hands really low, but if I'm not there, if I'm not here at impact, if I stand up and do this, that would work just fine, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. It would, but you also want a swing that's going to be consistent, right? I mean, it, yeah, like, and, and Fuzzies was very consistent. But I would think good mechanics would make you more consistent, especially if you're playing in a tournament. Right? Depends, it depends on the person, you know, and it depends on what good, how you define good mechanics. Right? So if I'm Greg Norman, Greg Norman held the club in the air and put the ball right there with the driver. Right? Why is that? Because he bent his knees a lot in the backswing and bent over a lot in the downswing, so he ended up right there. But he basically stood like that.
way out on the toe and the club up in the air too. He didn't even put it on the ground. Jack Nicholas held the club up in the air as well. Jill Amundsen does the same thing. Yeah. I played with her once ago. Oh yeah. There's a girl, and I'll end with this. There's a guy named uh, Mo Norman who dressed it like this. Legs straight, lots of waist bend. He put the club head right there. And he is undoubtedly reputation and in, in reality, one of the best hitters of the ball that has ever held a club, ever. Mo Norman, I mean, he'd, he'd do this and then he'd put it right there. And then once he took off, it was magic. <laughs> Weird address though. Yeah. Grips as big as a horse's leg. Yeah, I mean, they were this big. It makes you wonder where he picked that up and why. Yeah, <laughs> but it works yeah. for him, doesn't right. it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but somebody still had to have taught him that or gave that to him as a drill. Or something. Don't know, good point. Yeah, yeah. don't know. It's just weird. Some people play in another sport, <laughs> and then, you know, like baseball, yeah. and yeah. you kind of tell somebody who you But it's play. an individual thing, is yeah. the point. You know, it's an individual thing. You know, I, I, I use this example too much, but it's true. Your fingerprint works great for you, mine works great for me, but they're different. Right. They work great. They work great. So I wish there was a the way for you guys to do things. All we know is that we want impact alignments to be great. That's the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we want your impact alignments to be fabulous. Everything else is personal. Yeah, how you get there yeah. is up to you. Yeah, okay. If you Makes want sense. a lot of moving parts, great. Great questions. Of, don't want a lot of moving parts, great. Can you guys come back tomorrow for the men's clinic so we can ask great questions again?